What's good? Sambanane Dimela Abisheni. Hello. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Philippine, aka Adeze. Back at it again with another video. And we back, and we back, and we back, baby. Okay, so yeah, you guys asked for it. I'm here. <laughs> Well, you guys have been pretty stern about the products I use and the price point because I've been splotched. But <laughs> I'm here today with something that I purchased myself with my own money. And yes, it is affordable, right? So today's video is kind of like a tutorial slash explanation, whatever you want to call it, of a cream wash and go. So um, I used products that you can find in South Africa, definitely, without a doubt, and they're very affordable. Just go to your local click store and you can purchase them. And I explain everything and all the details in this video. So be sure to watch which products I used and how I use them, how you can achieve this beautiful, beautiful, defined wash and go just by spending a hundred bucks at the most. A hundred bucks, guys. Literally. That's all we want and the products will last you forever and they're very hydrating. So yeah, I'm glad to be back and I really do hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, subscribe. Come on, let's grow this channel guys. And also let me know if there are any other products that you would like me to purchase and try for you. Okay, the key word here being purchase because <laughs> I mean, how else are we going to get products if we're not purchasing them? Well, I feel that was dumb. Anyway, without further ado, I'm blabbering on too much. Let's get into the video. Okay, hey guys. So, I have listened to all your pleas and I have finally found products which were affordable, which is what we're going to be doing today because y'all, y'all complained, okay? Some of y'all were like, the products that I use are too expensive and some of you guys are on a budget. So, I decided to go into stores and see what options are there what is affordable what can i use because sometimes i'm not always sponsored okay and i also need to purchase natural hair products like everybody else um sometimes i am blessed enough to repurchase the products that i'm sponsored with even though they're expensive but sometimes you know some months are rough you know it makes sense but uh, there's still a bit of struggle okay we need to catch up with our december spending habits <laughs> so i decided to go into clicks and i found these products and i'm like you know what let me try them out they still currently have the special going on which is a three for two which clicks always has a lot um i would have bought the shampoo and the conditioner for this range but personally i prefer using my own shampoo and conditioner um but I went ahead and purchased like the moisturizing product and then I posted like this picture up here which was like a cream wash and go and y'all were like yes we would like to see that and it was done using these products. I would say exercise caution though because the reason why I forgot why I stopped doing wash and goes is the single strand knots. Oh my goodness there was so much like breakage and not and all that today when i was detangling my hair so it wasn't pleasant at all anyway i've already sectioned my hair it's clean it's washed it is deep conditioned you know so i'm going to show you how to do this cream wash and go with these products that i got i'm going to be looking at my mirror over here so sorry if i'm not looking into the screen um so what i would say about these products is that i do feel that they are very 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 um hydrating i was quite surprised with how hydrating they are i mean i didn't have to um you know re-moisturize my hair as often as i would i still have single strand knots oh my goodness so i'm gonna start with the um afri true naturals moisturizing curls this retails for 59.99 i believe and I got this along with the other products that I'm going to be using so I usually start with a detangler I take like this much product yeah and then I will rake it into my hair especially my ends because 
that's the driest part of my hair to be quite honest and then i will take sorry i'll take this cute little detangling comb that i got from clicks it was i believe 29.99 um it's basically a tangle teaser so if you have a tangle teaser or a denman brush a white tooth comb as well would work you can use that so what i do is just kind of like detangle it but my hair is already detangled from my shower um so it isn't that much hard work as you can see it's already curling all right now i'm going to take the other product which is the Afri, the Afri True Naturals Curl Power and this one retails for $54.99 currently right now and this is what I use to actually kind of hold the curls a little bit the range does have a gel but I didn't want to do a gel um, wash and go so I just apply a bit of that product and what I do is, although my curls are already defined, what I end up doing is I will grab like strand by strand and just smooth like that. Alright, can you see what I'm doing? So I'll just grab it down and then smooth. And then anywhere else where I still feel it's rough, I will take my detangling brush and detangle. And then that's it. That is my cream wash and go. Should I feel the need to define anything else more, I will take the strand that I need to define. And what I'll do is I'll finger coil, especially the ends, and then leave it. Okay? So that's what they look like right now. That's it. There's no need for gel. There's no need for anything extra right now currently um we will be putting in oil once our hair is dry so i would advise you to get a spray bottle so you can kind of like wet your hair i wouldn't necessarily say make it like extremely wet um i prefer working with my hair like damp to a little soaked um because i want the products to moisturize my hair and do the work instead of the water doing the work for me so i'm not going to spray too much water what i'm going to do is i'm going to section off the hair that i already worked with that's why i'm using clips and not a hair tie because i've already curled that hair so yeah we're just going to repeat the process i'm going to do it a few more times and then i'm just going to speed it up and skip to the next part because there's really no need for you to watch an entire video of me just raking product into my hair um, it's repetitive to be quite honest sorry I keep on looking in the viewfinder because I'm also using it as my mirror but I'm trying not to look at it as much and I'm looking into the lens to check as you can see the hair curls up quite well and then I'm going to take the hydrating curl cream and then I'm going to apply that to my hair and just rake it through. Now with a wash and go you do want to generally work with smaller and smaller sections but my back section is not as tedious and bad as my front section so I can work with um, bigger sections in my back section but I'll show you what I do for my front section. So. I'm just going to go ahead and work with my other section. I'm going to talk about why I love these products. So the reason why I love these products is because they're very hydrating and they're very affordable. And I mean, I got three for the price of one. The other thing that I got was an edge gel which retails for around 50 rand. And I felt like that was a steal. Another pro tip would be to scrunch up your hair to clump the curls more. And then that's it. I'm literally done with the back section. Did you see how easy that was? 
Um, I would also like to say that the hydrating curl cream can kind of flake. Um, especially when mixing with other products that are not a part of the range, so say a gel. So I would advise you that if you want to do a gel wash and go, buy the gel in the Effort True Naturals range, just so you limit the flaking of your hair. But other than that, this was a great hairstyle. Um, also, for cream wash and go, they aren't as long lasting as a gel wash and go because there is no hold versus with a gel. So just keep that in mind. Don't expect this to last like a whole week unless you're very good with how you take care of your hair. For me, it lasted like three days. I could have pushed it to four, but I'd already stretched out my hair. So what I'm gonna try doing now is not stretching it out and seeing how it naturally stretches on its own basically so now i'm just applying the gel i mean the uh, curl cream and breaking it through my hair don't worry about the white film that dries out when your hair dries out see it's better to clamp the curls up right so it looks like that Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys for a bit and I'll be back when I'm busy with my front section. Alright. <laughs> Shakara na fire, she no no say I get the money yo. Yeah. Maybe make me broke to 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 put it on me yo. Bone story yo, now you are the one to for me yo. No look who you face so. Do what you want do, baby, no time to waste yo. No give me drama, baby, why not this yo? okay guys i am back it is literally like um a day later um what happened was while i was diffusing my hair load shedding happened so i'm gonna grab this um vatica oil it's just moroccan argan oil and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to rub it between yep that's one and then I'm going to fluff out my hair, taking care not to disturb the curl pattern. So this is just to shake it out. This is a cream wash and go pre-stretched, pre-fluffed, pre-everything. As you can see the curls are defined and all of that but I kind of look like an egghead with short hair so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out and fluff it out to my liking um, but if you don't want to stretch it out and you want it to stretch out naturally you can do that for sure I can't do that so let me get the hair dryer real quick so there isn't going to be like a specific science to it obviously I'm just gonna hold it by the roots to stretch it out. As you can see I tried to stretch it out without disturbing the curls as much as I can and I feel like if I was to stretch this further it would frizz up so I'm going to leave it at that but yeah this is 
my cream wash and go of course we're not gonna have that definition we usually have with a gel and it's going to frizz up quicker because you don't have that hold that keeps it together but this is by far my favorite method I prefer this one I don't have the many flakes in my head or that much product in my head secondly my hair feels hydrated and I still have um, my natural curl definition so I feel like I've accomplished a lot <laughs> with a cream wash and go so that was my method using affordable products what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the Afro True Naturals Moisturizing Curls Black Caster Edge Control Gel that I got in Lix for that um, three for two special. You can get all these products. So what I'm so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this much and I'm gonna apply it to my edges just to smooth those out. I mean, what is a hairstyle without edges? I don't get people who don't do their edges, um, but we all have preference. My preference is I will not walk out without smoothing my edges. And then I'm just going to take a thin tooth comb, red tail comb, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to use that to um, kind of polish my hair back, in a sense. Do I think this is the best edge control I've ever used no in fact I've been using this um, eco styler argan oil gel this is about 80 rand for the small tub um, the bigger tub I believe is around 120 or 130 I'm not really sure about the prices but I still have the bigger tub of the um, olive oil one which flakes a lot more than the argan oil one. Does the argan oil one flake? Yes, it does, but it doesn't flake as much. I feel like it flakes way less compared to um, the olive oil one. So what I like doing as well is applying edge gel just here to define my part. Um, yeah, why am I saying um? <laughs> So I'm just going to define my part real quick by using an old toothbrush. If you want, you can also take um, a pick, an Afro pick, and you can pick this out to be quite big if you want to. Or you can leave it as is and you just let it get bigger as the days go by I really do hope that you enjoyed this video please let me know down below if you have tried the clicks Afri true naturals product range if you have let me know what are your thoughts on it if you haven't um, I hope this video kind of drives you to go and buy them because I am crazy about the hydration of these products and the fact that they're affordable is a plus so if you are on a budget I would say go try out these products let me know down below what you think of them and yeah I really do hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like and comment first video of 2020 wow I've been slacking but hey here we are and yeah I will see you guys next time this is